Tryon. What the fuck? Ty, what the hell are you doing way up here? I'm disappointed in you, boy. You got death staring you in the face, and that's all you can say. What, you following me or something? Death follows all of us, boy, and tonight you done found you. Damn. For me, to live is to love. But I never thought loving someone so much would turn out like this. The first time we locked eyes, perfect timing. The first time, who knew I would fall for you? Your intellect, it compliments your precious face. Lost in a maze, hypnotic love got me a day. Paperwork came through, everything looks good. My name is Trayon Douglas. I'm a mechanic. I fix shit. And that's my boss, Lance Wonders. I love my job. Cause I don't really have to do nothing. Yeah. And thank you. All right. Hey look, man, my check was short last week. Your check was short. Nigga, fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Mr. Lance Wonders? You got it, Trey. How are you, man? How are things going with you? Oh, man, everything's good, man. Well, everything around the shop looks good, man. Oh, yeah, you know I got to keep everything coca-static, going smooth. Roger, what the hell you doing? I can't holler Mr. Wonders. Trey, 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 Trey. He's okay. He's all right. Mr. Wonders, Mr. Wonders. Uh, cleanliness, bro. Oh, oh my, bad. my bad. How can I help you, Roger? I need a raise. <laughs> you need a raise? Yes, sir, I need a raise. Well, it's funny you came in here this morning, Roger. As a matter of fact, I was gonna get in touch with you later on this afternoon, okay? Yes, sir. Roger, you been making a lot of money for me here lately. Yes, sir. All last week. Yes, sir. A lot of paper. Yes, sir. A lot of paper. Yes, sir. But, Paper's not adding up. Everything's not evening out. It's not adding up. Oh no, 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 no. Paper short. Look short. Yeah, paper, paper looks short. Paper looks short. Mm -hmm. Money, money. Come here. Let me, let me talk to you a little bit. I want you Sir. to hear me. I need you to hear me. Sir. Okay. Roger. Where you at right now? I'm at work. I'm on the clock. You on the clock? You at work? Yes, sir. Okay. Roger, you you in here talking to me right now? You in my office? Yes, sir. How you working, Roger? Oh, Roger, I'll tell you what, you, you get out of here, okay? Get out of here. Out of here, Roger. Roger, Roger. I'm just fucking with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. 
Oh, my bad, man. My nah, bad. Man. Nah, that's good, man. Yeah. I know you got this. I know you got this. One thing we got to talk about, though, man. You tell that red suit eat motherfucker, if I got to come out there, it's going to be a goddamn problem. I'm going to tap his ugly ass wife and slap the shit out of his retarded ass kids. Look, it's something I need to handle. I'm going to call you in a minute. What's up, player? This is Ty Kimball and his right hand man, Bird. See, me and Ty, we pretty cool. But Bird, you can't trust him. He's a perfect example of a hater. Yeah, I feel you. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. But what's up with that cash, Playboy? Street's been kind of hot. Gotta make a few power moves. But I got you, though. You got me? Yeah. All right, Bird. Don't let your well run dry. I need all that cash. Nigga, my word is my bond. Nigga, I told you I got you. Bleed it. I hope you got me, my nigga. By the end of business today. I'm gonna hit you up in a minute. Uh-huh. You got something coming through next week. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, something big, man. That's what's up. That's what That's what I need to hear. You know, I got time making them run for us. Okay. okay. A lot of people can eat off of this. True. We got a lot of hungry people out there, man. Okay. You know what? You're going to have a few more hungry people out there. <laughs> if you don't get your ass out here and go to work. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> hey, I'm going to holler at you, Mr. Wonders, man. All right. Hey, Trey. Yeah. Unemployment line, nigga. Whatever. All right. <laughs> These last couple of weeks, I haven't been getting nothing but complaints on Raj. He's so close to getting fired. Rod, you put the wires on the lady car yet? Yeah, I already handled it, man. What about the tires? I done that too. You sure? Because uh, last time I got a complaint from her about her uh, lugs won't tighten up good on the car. You got a complaint from her? Her lugs won't tighten up. She ain't brought it back in the shop. I mean, I mean, she, she must be straight. What I'm saying, the lady called and said that her lugs wasn't tighten up good on the car. She got her son to tighten them up. Trey, I got this, man. I got this. And after I get through, I, 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 it's a wrap for the day. It's a, it's a wrap. Hey. Oh, yeah? How much you like? About, about another 20, 30 more minutes. You know what I'm saying? As I get through, it's a wrap. I'm, I'm through for the day, man. Um, all right, well, I'm going to go wrap up in here, man. Then we can roll out. All right, man. But what's up? I got big face, honey. Yeah, that trap money. I'm trapping. Hey, trap. You know that shit you show me today, man? We ain't about nothing. We ain't about shit at all, man. You ain't like that shit last time, my nigga? Hell no. Oh, you gonna love this shit right here, man. This shit A1. I'm gonna look at that. Is it A1 showing sure up? For sure, for sure. But then how about giving me a point? All right, hold on, Mr. B. Let me tell you a little bit right quick. Hold on, let's get up. What's up with you? So with the bird. Right, you good. You got that? Yeah, yeah. Daughter. I'll be hollering at you, my nigga. All right. All right you say you wanted something for the 40? Hell yeah. All right, I got you. Hey, Mr. V, before you leave, man, let me see you do your damn one time. Yeah, you know I only do it for you, Trap. I'm gonna do my best. I'm an old man. One, two, three, step, kick. Turn, you like this here, like this here. You do the temptation walk. Fuck out my way, nigga. What's up, nigga? You trying to play me or something? That was all up, bro. Oh nigga. shit! You got something to do with this Hell shit? Hell no! Fuck the rest of my money, Ed, nigga. That was all up, bro. Nigga, you need to have the rest of my shit by the night, nigga. Man, I got you, man. Okay, I got you. Hey, Trey, man, I'm gone, man. I'll holler at you in the morning, man. All right. Hey, Raj, make sure you be on time. Oh, yeah, I, I, whatever, man. I'm going to be on time, man. The perfect love, the perfect lady, that'll be my Lauren. We've been kicking it for about seven years now. 
She's my high school sweetheart. She's every man's dream. So I guess I would say I'm lucky. It's me. Me who? Lauren, quit playing. I'm not playing. If you don't announce yourself, you're not getting in. And I do not let strangers into my house. My daddy taught me better than that. You're right, babe. It's your future husband. Future husband? That could be anybody. <laughs> so, how was your day today? It was fine. Mm-hmm. That's good. Go on, have a seat. All right. You look beautiful, baby. It's like you glowing. Are you that happy to see me? Of course I'm happy to see you. I miss you when you're not with me. Mm. I miss you too, love. So, where's your dad? Uh, he's out of town. Hmm. Busy man. I swear your daddy stay out of town. I never asked, but uh, what's your dad do anyway? Because every time I come here, he gone. What? He pushing weight, ain't he? <laughs> well, no. <laughs> He's an investment banker, mm. and he does real estate on the side. Mm. I bet your dad would be mad if he knew I was here with you. All alone. Getting it on. <laughs> For one, I'm a grown woman. Two, we're not getting nothing on. Mm. Yeah. But anyway, how was your day? You don't even want to know. Crazy day. Mm-hmm. I bet. That tramp, huh? Oh, don't start, Lauren. You know you're the only girl for me. Mm-hmm. I better be. Mm-hmm. But anyway, <clears throat> I got some exciting news. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. You want something to drink? No, nah, I'm good. I want some of you and them little-ass shorts. <laughs> What type of tricks you got up your sleeves anyway? No tricks, babe. What's this? Just read it. That's right. I got accepted into the doctoral program at the university. Mm, I see. <laughs> Congratulations. All right. What's up, man? What's up, my nigga? I see you working good. Yeah, man, I'm about to quit that motherfucker, though, man. That shit playing out. Nah, I ain't talking about that kind of work. Talking about this type of work. Oh, this what's up. This now you can up. handle it. Oh, for sure. For sure. For sure. Quit your nine to five. Come work for me. I put you on the nine to five. You know what I mean? Model. I think about it. All what's right, up? you do that. All right. You don't seem too excited. Oh, I am. No, you're not. You worried about the distance, aren't you? To be honest about it, I really didn't want her to go to college. But if that makes her happy, I'm all for it. Are you kidding me? I would visit you on the moon if you moved there. Baby, you know I love you. Besides, Mike's not that far away from you. I'll just have him come check up on you. You love me? Are you kidding? You're beautiful. You're smart. And you're so damn sexy. Now, what does my doctor want to do today? We can do anything you want. Anything? Anything reasonable, Lauren. I ain't doing no skydiving or nothing. No, babe, it's not skydiving. Mm. But I do want to be pampered. Mm -hmm. I want my hair done, mm. my nails done, my feet done. Mm. And afterwards, I want a full body massage. Mm. Is that right? Oh, yeah. And then I want to go to our favorite restaurant, drive down to the beach, and take a midnight stroll with the love of my life. Mm, that mm -hmm. sounds good, babe. And then uh -huh. I want to lay out a blanket mm. and let you give me multiple orgasms all night long until the sun rises. Mm, damn. Babe, let's make that happen. What's up, 
Stop playing. I can't be boning you in public. Mm. You're gonna make me lose my license before I even get them. Yeah, right. You little bad little girl. I knew you was a freak. All right, Trayon. <laughs> What was that? It's Douglas, babe. Mm hmm. You good now? You good? Don't play, babe. You know I don't get down like that. Mm -hmm. You know I love you. Player, I've been knocking dust from you Every all week, day, man. Ain't you tired of getting your head nice. boys, Man, roll the dice. We supposed man, to be friends. Don't but see, Coop, he don't really roll mess with time. He don't Good. mess with him because I'm cool with him. Bitch, 20 I hit you, 20 I hit you, and 50 I hit you, Coop, cause you the only nigga out here with some real cash. Bet, nigga, you ain't said nothing but a word. Roll the dice and quit jacking off. We got shit to do, man. Oh, Coop to join the party. I'm about to test that ass. Now, you should have stayed been with me, cause I ain't got no mercy and I'm hella thirsty, nigga. Man, hurry up and roll the dice, man. Crap out, rookie. That's what I'm saying, man. Roll the dice. Man, why y'all rushing the player to take y'all money, man? Come on, man. Bet 20 more than your Jane Evans looking motherfucker? No, bet. Ain't we lucky we got him. Do, 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 do. Good time. Bet 50 more, nigga. Bet. Six coming right, bet. Sell me now. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Let's get this bread, man. Damn. See, that's what you get for running your damn mouth too much. My shot, nigga. A balloon to a blimp, old dick in the booty ass, nigga. Dick in the booty ass, nigga. That's what the fuck I said. Hey, cool. Call Trey on, man. Let's get some real money out here. These broke ass niggas scared to gamble. This fucking up a player bad, man. <laughs> hey, man, watch this game for me. I'll be right back. Shit, I got you. All right. These niggas tripping, man. Trayon, what it is? What's up, man? Uh, you need to um, come on over here, man. We over here doing the damn thing. For real? Man, I ain't got no bread, no I'm gonna tell you, nigga, these niggas got some real money over here, man. I ain't gonna be able to make no man for the day. Well, all right then, rookie, man. I'll holler at you later. All right. All right. What he say, man? Man, that nigga at the house in the bed sleep. He say he gotta go to work in the morning, man. Who shot is it? Yours if you want, player. Bet that shoe fit the bed. Bet. Charlotte Stevenson. Man, what I'm gonna do with her? She been trying to get at me for a minute now. She don't like Lauren. I think I know why. But I'm good. I got a good woman. Whoa. Ooh, you almost saw too much there. <laughs> yeah, what's up? You have a Mr. Cockwire on the line. He wants to know when his car will be ready. Um, tell him it'll be ready in about three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing with you. Tell him in about 30 minutes. Okay, thank you. No problem. Hello, Mr. Cockwire. Thank you for waiting. Your car will be ready in about 45 minutes. Is that okay? Great. Damn, Roger. Somebody you want to raise. Hell, he can't even make it to work. No, thank you. I'll see you in just a little bit. Lonnie Briggs. Now this is a stupid dude. He thinks Sharon favor to him. But she messing with my boy Coop. She ain't nothing but a liar. Yeah. What you doing in there? I'm using the bathroom. Damn, you been in the bathroom about a damn hour. Come here. Who the fuck you on the phone with? Why you scared me? Who the fuck you on the Nobody! Cool, motherfucker. Cool. You fucking that nigga now? No. 
trying to plug no. Mm-hmm. No. What the hell wrong with you? You told me to set him up. I did tell you to set that nigga ass up. Yes, man. you did. You coming through this motherfucker like the Matrix, you're going to be jumping crazy like that. We're going to call this shit off. What the fuck you lying for, then? What else am I supposed to do? I'm sorry. You know I love you. Who is? She little girlfriend. Hey, Rick. Yo. Yeah. Hey, come over here and listen for me, man. Take it right back, man. All right. You know that young girl can't handle all of that, but I got you though. <laughs> girl, you crazy. For real though. So is this what we do? Smack each other on the butt now, Treyon? No, Lauren, babe. Come on now. That girl just acting silly. Oh, hell no. Lauren, come here, girl. Come here. Lauren. Lauren, come here, girl. Lauren. Quit tripping, girl. Trayon, get your hands off me. Quit tripping, girl. Nah, you tripping. You need to go back in there with your little bitches before she get mad. Matter of fact, you need to move before I get mad. Look, me and that girl ain't got nothing going on. It ain't even like that. Oh, yeah? Well, why is she all up in your face, rubbing all on your butt? Explain to me that, Trayon. What are you talking about? Oh, so you don't know what I'm talking about? Move, you disgusting. Quit tripping, girl. Cut the car off. Move, Trayon. Cut Move. the car off. Move. Lauren, cut the car off. Kiss my ass, Trayon. Lauren, cut the car off. My bro. I just got up on this bad ass little bitch at the store. You heard me? I tell you, man, I dropped four in this motherfucker. Four thick purple O's in this motherfucker. And I'm gonna drink all this shit. Oh, for real? Bad. How she look? All right, yellow bone, coke bottle shape. Let me see a piece. I was saying, man, you need to go on holler at dude, man, because he taking too damn long. Damn, nigga, she got, she got a friend. Shit. Fuck you looking at, pussy. Fuck you, nigga. Fuck What's yourself, up? Boy. Better get some goddamn money out here. Yeah, nigga, all right. I'm going to see you. Man, you need to kill one of them niggas in the goddamn way. Man, them niggas don't work, man. Bitch ass, nigga. Man, who the fuck is that nigga anyway, man? Man, that nigga cool, man. You want to see this nigga cool. Hey, yeah. Got a bullet that nigga name on it, for real. <laughs> this is my dad, Mr. Willie Douglas. Hey, a good hey, man. Hey, hey, son, how you doing? But my mama's been dead right. for five years. So I stopped on, by to hey, visit him from time to time oh, to check up on him. Yeah. Oh, I so love my dad. All right. Yeah, take a look and see. Hmm. <laughs> hey, uh, by the way, some girl come calling for you, uh, uh, Chrissy, that's yes, name, Chrissy. Did you get a number? Yeah, I got it written over there in big bold letters. Can't miss it. I ain't heard from her in a while. Hmm. <laughs> well, Papa, I ain't trying to rush off or nothing, but I got a couple of runs I got to make. Okay, okay, man. Well, all right. You need anything? I'm good for now, son. I'm good for now. You sure? Positive. Need any money? Hmm. Well, uh, I think you better be heading on out the door before I change my mind on that money, Bill. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right, well, let me get out of here, man. All right, then. You be safe out there, then, son. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right, be sure and do that now. All right. Okay. What you think about them Grizzlies, Flair? They gonna do something this year? Shoot, I don't even know, man. I get lined up from Ty twice a week. It may look like a regular barbershop, but it ain't. 
Nah, it's also a place where a lot of drug deals go down. But not this year, huh? No, not this year, man. Fellas, fellas. Up, Mr. Wanda. What up, Trey? What up, Ty? I'm out of something with you. Oh, you got it, man. You got it. How many you got left? Man, I got about two. Hey, tell me something good, Mr. Wanda. The big, yeah, let him play a whole song. Well, that's what I'm here for, man. What you see? Oh, yeah. I'm next. What you see? All right, all right. <laughs> so what you got going tonight, man? Sure. I don't know, man. I'm uh, pretty much just going with the flow. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. That's it. So uh, you make that happen, man? Oh, man, you know that, like butter. You know how to eat. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got a brother tight. Oh, you chopped the deal. <laughs> That's what's up. Oh, yeah. Ah. Bet that. Yeah. Hey, if you ain't yeah. got nothing to do tonight, you and your gal ought to come out to the spot. Ladies get in free, all access, VIP, everything on me. Holla at your boy. Yeah. I'll see what's up, man. Same time next week? Bet. All right. That's what's up. Mr. Wong. What up, homie? What's up, player? You good? Yeah. You got that? You know it. Let me see it. Next time, huh? Be easy. All right. Had to learn the hard way, hard way. Fucking with a G on the wrong day. And that's a violation. Niggas got to bleed for that. Man, I've been trying to call Lauren all week. And she still ain't answer my call. She ain't never did this. It's something funny going on. So you finally decided to answer your phone. I know you ain't still mad about what happened the other day at the repair shop. You know damn well me and that girl ain't got nothing going on. But work. Lauren, listen and listen good. I do not want Charlotte, okay? I'm not fucking her. Lauren, I love you just as much as God creation of life itself. So quit bullshitting. I mean, quit bull jiving. See, I'm trying to stop cussing. But see, you just, look, what you doing? Well, I'm finna come over there. What do you mean for what? To see my baby? I haven't seen you in two days, and that's long enough. Look, you proven your point and it's meaningless. Okay? And I'm not fucking her. <laughs> I am, you get it? I'm trying to stop cussing. Little boy. All right, I got you, little boy. You wasn't saying that the other night, was you? That candy was fine, wasn't it? <laughs> you know it was. Yeah. I'll be over there in a little bit. All right. Yeah, I love you too. Yeah. What up, player? Meet me at the barbershop after hours, 7.30 on the dot. And nigga, don't be late. Somehow, right after that phone call, my cousin Douglas went to prison. He never made it to me tied at that barbershop. 
It was like he was set up or something. I wish things could have been different. I wish I would have had the chance to tell him. Some friends can be your worst enemies. And by him being in the streets most of his life, I don't think he realized all money ain't good money. And knowing that my cousin is going to prison, it has given me a different outlook on life. And man, I'm gonna miss him. Tap. Hey, yo, I took care of that, man. It's done. I won. Swag so hard, nigga. Game face stuff. What's taking this nigga so long to come? Man, I feel sorry for London. He actually think Bird gonna let him meet the plug. He must don't know Bird. It's dope. And be the number one supplier, king of West Tennessee. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. There's just one problem with that, though. What's that? You too much of a high risk, nigga. Oh, nigga, what the fuck wrong with you, nigga? Nigga, you know what the fuck is up, nigga. You know it's lower to first, nigga. Your stupid ass now, nigga. Fuck out. Hey, Treyon. What's up, Charlotte? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. What's up? I just wanted to let you know, I'm sorry about what happened last week. I mean, I wasn't trying to make any difficulties or Throw any salt in your relationship, you know. Oh, uh, everything's cool. So is she cool? No. You know how you women are. As soon as you see a brother conversating with another lady, especially when you work with her, you assume we're having sex. So, she think we got something going on. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. But she'll be okay. Well, what about you? Are you gonna be all right? Come on now. You know a beautiful lady can't keep a good brother down. Whatever that means. <laughs> I yeah. love you, boy. Yeah. If it's anything that you need, let me know, okay? That's what's up. Appreciate that, Charlotte. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, what is you doing? Uh, after I left work. Yo, B, hook me up. I decided to get me a drink to clear my head. And guess who I ran into? Her old friend, Loco. He been locked up for 10 years. Trey. And boy, Trey? we used to do some things. Oh shit! My nigga Trey! What's up, boy? What up? Man, too much of none, man. What's been up with you? Shit, just working, man. Shit, what you been up to, man? Shit, I ain't seen you since that freshman year in high school, man. Shit, my nigga, I been locked up for the past 10 years. Shit, I just got out three days ago. Word. Word. You know, Trey. Can't no sell. Keep a real nigga down, though. What you drinking on? <laughs> she real funny. Yo, B, hook my man's up, man. She, what you drinking, loco? Oh, sh another cold one, bartender. She hook up another cold one, B. Shit, it's good to see you, loco. Shit, it's good to see you too, Trey. Shit, for sure, man. Man, you still messing with that bad broad? 
Who, Lauren? Yeah. She was finer than a motherfucker, man. She's still fine, man. I dip with her every now and then. Oh, okay. Okay. She mad than the bitch at me right now. Oh, though. word? Man. So what you do time at? Shit in the shop. Word. Word. Heard it's pretty fucked up that way. Shit, my nigga is fucked up anywhere when you're doing time, you dig? True that. Shit. So what you do time for? Shit, man, fucking with this shiesty ass nigga, man. And trip. This nigga my cousin. You know what I'm saying? That shit he did was fucked up, though. But you know what? I ain't tripping that, though. You know what I'm saying? He did what he did. You know what I'm saying? It's over now. I'm free. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Having a drink with my nigga Trey. Shit, life good, baby. Well, shit, that's what's up. It was nice of my sister to throw me a birthday party. But Lauren won't be here. But I'm good. I can't let that ruin my day. Sis, what the hell you doing down here? And how the hell y'all get in my house? He gonna be surprised though. I wonder if he'll be surprised if I take off mine. You better come get this good stuff panties and put it in a gift bag for his birthday. <laughs> Girl, you crazy. Probably not. So Celeste, how is it up there? It must be pretty fun because it's been keeping you away from here for a while. It's okay. It's a lot of fun but it just be cold as hell around this time of the year. I figured that. It's about around the time I came up there last year, and OMG, girl, freezing season. But anyway, I'm about to go in here and see if I can catch one of these niggas to see if they'll pay my bill for me this month. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. Celeste, he is going to love this. I sure hope that friend of his didn't give him any idea. Hell, I hope he ain't either. Shit, we'll kick his butt. Girl, Brittany is crazy. Look at her over there, trying to get her bed in. But I don't blame her, cause soon as Trion get here, I'm gonna be trying to get mine in too. Girl, you a mess. Go on, do your thing then. <laughs> Ladies, for the record, where is Lauren? I mean, today is his day. She should be here for his birthday. That's, that's kind of funny to me that she's not here. Well, I think she went to Nashville. I heard she got accepted to University of Vanderbilt. Hmm, she did? Trion didn't tell me that. And I'm gonna have to get on his head about keeping secrets. Girl, what are you up to? Cause I know you. So Charlotte, why don't you tell us what's going on between you and Trion at that repair shop? Wouldn't you like to know, Mrs. Lattimore, the school teacher? Well, he's completely off limits. There'll be no after school study hall or detention coming over his way. You see, I'll be doing all the teaching, discipline, and sounding of the alphabets, if you know what I mean, Mrs. Lattimore. No, I don't know what you mean, but uh, you can call me Carrie. Okay now, ladies, it sounds like it's getting a little tense out here now. I know, right? But Charlotte, I would like to know if you and my cousin are hitting it off. Hitting it off. <laughs> you know what she's saying. Sex. <laughs> Happy birthday, Tran. Thank you, Charlotte. Happy birthday. Uh, all right, Brittany. Happy birthday, cuz. What up, DJ? What up, Trion, man? Happy birthday. Appreciate that, man. What you got going? Man, ain't nothing much, man. Spending these tunes for you, man. That's what's up, man. All Happy right, man, out. take it easy. Man, these bros thirsty, man. Somebody going home with me, player, but I better get them for y'all get them. But look, I'm going to holler at y'all pimping in a minute. Happy birthday, Playboy. You good, player? Oh, yeah, I'm good. Hey man, this birthday thing cool and all that, but me and Lance gonna hit up the shake joint and get us some bras. And you know what level I'm on. Is you in? I don't know, man. Me and no girl supposed to kick it tonight. Oh shit, she ain't even here a play, boy. Ain't she in Nashville anyway? Yeah, but how you know? You must have forgot where you at. This coveting player. <laughs> what up, birthday boy? What's going on, man? You got it, you got it. I guess you knew about this too, didn't you? But how you feeling, man? Oh, I'm good, man. What's up with you? Life, baby. Hey, 
I feel to be almost 30. Almost 30? Shit. Nigga I ain't number 22. 22. Nigga, you can lie to them ladies, but I know how you are. Whatever. Anyways, feel pretty damn good to be 22, man. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Trey. Mm hmm Hey, man, what was, what was D thinking, man? You know, sitting up with all that work. I know what these niggas in these streets be talking about. Shit, I don't know. That nigga know better than that, man. Apparently he don't. Sitting up in the crib with that much dope. Man, that nigga retarded, man. Hey, so what was Coop at when all this was going on? Shit, I don't know where he was. So you ain't talked to Coop since D got locked up? Nope. You ain't talked to D? Nope. Well, I heard he was set up. He said he was set up. That's what I heard. Playboy, he probably did this shit. Who? Coop! Man, Coop ain't did shit. Keep my name out your mouth. What up with it, Trey, huh? Happy birthday, rookie. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> man, where you been at, man? I've been calling your phone and shit. Man, you had a brother worried about you, man. You straight? Hell nah, I ain't straight. My homeboy in jail, man. There's somebody in this circle, man. Coop was suspicious that somebody said Douglas up. And he think it was somebody in this circle. Man, I don't know who it is. But it ain't me. And I know it ain't cool. Or who snitched on. But I am trying to enjoy my birthday. You feel me? Hey man, let me holler at you, man. You're real fucking with these fuck niggas. Hey man, I'll be right back, man. Mm-hmm. Look, man, I don't know what's up with that nigga, man. But by the way he acts. He up to something. I done told you, Playboy, he a snitch, man. Look, man, somebody took them boys off and it wasn't me. And that nigga Ty, I don't like that nigga, man. And I don't trust him. You shouldn't trust that nigga either, man. Something just ain't right about that nigga. Come on, man. You think Ty got something to do with D getting locked up? Hell yeah. Hell no. Shit, all right. Well, shit, let's go over there and see. Look, if I go back in that mine, I'm going to kill one of them pussy-ass niggas. And it's your birthday, man. You need to go back up in there and enjoy yourself. Plus, I got something I got to do anyway. I'm trying to be out. Shit, all right, man. All right. All right, be easy, man. Hey, be careful, Nick. Right. Man, what that weak-ass nigga crying about now, man? Not shit. Well, I'll be right back, lady. I'm about to go and get Trey on his birthday gift. <laughs> What's up? Where are your little girlfriend at? Oh, she had to take care of some business in Nashville. Mm-hmm. Well, I got something for you. <laughs> you do? What you got for me, Charlotte? It's a surprise. <laughs> a surprise? Yeah. Where are your bathroom at? Oh, make a left, then another left, and straight ahead. Okay, I'll be right back. You look nice. Happy birthday. <laughs> Girl, what you got in this bag? Look and see. Get in their bag. Oh, none. What's up? Yeah, right. Nothing. You okay? Oh, yeah, I'm good. Mm-hmm. So, what's up with you and Lauren? Why isn't she here? I mean, really, it is your birthday. Well, she said she got some business to take her up for school. On a Saturday? Be for real. I hope you don't believe <clears throat> that. Well, I don't know if she's telling the truth or not. And to be honest about it, I really don't care. Have you talked to her today? Not today. 
Okay. So you mean to tell me she ain't even called to tell you happy birthday? Nope. Nah, ain't that so. Wow. Okay. You need to check in on that. Because I'm a woman and I know something ain't right about that. I mean, uh, it is what it is. Trey. Sis, look, I don't want to talk about no Lauren today. Look, I'm trying to enjoy my birthday, the party. We got friends out back. And uh, I owe all that to you. All right. I love you. I love you too. All right, don't be talking about no damn Lauren no more either. <laughs> all right. Let's go on out here and enjoy the party. Damn, I woke up this morning and guess who's laying in bed beside me? Charlotte Stevenson. I must have been drunk as hell last night because I don't remember how she got in bed with me. Tell me we didn't do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, hell no. Nah. You gotta get the fuck up out of here. By this time, the police found the dead body by the railroad track. And it turned out to be London Briggs. Detective Willard and Detective Burns were assigned to the case. And if something goes down in this city, you better believe they gonna know about it. So what do we have here? Well, as you can see, we got a big male. We got one black male dead by the name of London Bridge, age 26. Looks to be shot twice in the stomach. Could be gang or drug related. Any suspects? Not yet, sir. Any evidence? No, not yet. Do you think this could possibly have anything to do with the young man, Douglas Douglas, being locked up? Could be, sir. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I want you to find out in and everything you can about this young man. Where he could possibly have worked, where his parents live, if he was in some sort of gang or whatever. And I want the information on my desk as soon as possible. Yes, sir. Here's a shell casing. This could be some possible lead. So take this shell casing and run a check on it and have that on my desk also first thing in the morning. Yes, sir. The streets are gonna be talking and I want in on it. Understood? Yes, sir. Go. You gotta get to the bottom of this. Alright? Yes, Keep looking out. Something fishy about this. You know, I think you could be right. Yeah. See you around. After I hadn't heard from Lauren in about two weeks, I decided to pay her a visit. What's up, Trey, huh? And guess what I ran up on? What's up, me, nigga? My so-called friend my and my girl. Can't hurt that. Damn, that hurt. Nigga, give me that. Trey on. Put the trunk, Lauren. Trey on. Y'all got me messed up. So you mean to tell me you about to leave to go to college and you wasn't gonna call me? So it's like that? What do you mean it's like that? I am not your woman. You need to dip back up there with that woman you work with. So you still on that dumb shit? Huh? You want this punk motherfucker now? Hey player, keep me out your business. Nigga, fuck you. You supposed to be my friend and you over here trying to hit on my girl? Nigga, I ain't your friend. 
I just cut your hair a couple of times. Your broke ass ain't getting nothing but a line. Broke? Nigga, you must don't know me. Who is you? Boy, I bust you dead in your motherfucking mouth. You lucky we had our parents' crib. Yeah, whatever. You put your hands on me. They gonna fit you for a toe tag, Mick. Trayon, you need to leave now. Lauren, get your hands off me. Trayon, leave! Boy! Try me if you want to. I'll blow your damn brains out, square ass, Mick. You weak, boy. You got to pull a damn gun out on me. You hot, ain't you? Don't hate the player. You nigga hate the game. Ty, put the gun down. Trayon, you need to leave. I ain't going nowhere unless you coming with me. I'm not coming with you anywhere. Now leave. So you mean to tell me after everything we done went through, you ready to throw in the towel? Huh? So you love this nigga? Huh? Better yet, do you love me? You know what? That's fucked up. I got you, boy. Mm -hmm. You can have this nigga. Y'all got me fucked up. Mm-hmm. I got you, boy. Deuces! Don't cry, baby. I got you. What up, bro? Shit, same old, same old. What's up with you? Hold on, hold on. Hey, Link. Huh? Could you please turn the TV down? All right, Mom. Hey, Thank you. Anyways, yeah, I was just calling to check up on you because I heard you was uh, pretty messed up last night. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. Try waking up laying in bed beside Charlotte Stevenson. And I don't know how the hell she got in there with me. You lying. I wish I was. But shit, really I don't. I mean, I just want to know how she got in there with me. Or at least remember if I hit or not, but I don't. So did you hit it? No. I mean, what she said we did, I just don't remember. How you not gonna remember? So you was that messed up last night to where you could not remember? Damn, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I kicked her ass out this morning, laying in bed beside me, and I ain't invited her ass in it. Uh, but anyway, what you doing? Where you at? I'm at the house. You already in the left and you didn't tell me? No, I'm to my daddy house, crazy. Oh. But I'm leaving in the morning, though. Hey, you talked to Lauren yet? Yep, earlier. And you know me and that nigga Ty got into it. That nigga pulled a gun out on me. For what? I'ma talk to you about it. So you mean to tell mama I had to go get my piece? <laughs> no, girl. I'ma talk to you about it, though. Okay. Well, make sure you come and holler at me in the morning before I leave. All right. All right, bye. Yep. A couple of weeks later, I tried to call Lauren again, but I still didn't get an answer. She hurt me. She hurt me really bad. I thought she was the one, but sometimes life doesn't turn out the way we plan it to be. Hey, bartender.
anyone has said I would let you go I would call them crazy How in the world could I leave you girl The mother of my babies You see, I just can't do this anymore You've changed, or maybe it's me Who don't know what I'm searching for But something's gotta give It's time to put all our troubles on the floor And walk away toward a life we hope to live The screaming and yelling and accusing me Chances with you, girl. This is just turbulence in love. Are you enjoying your day so far? Yes, Trayon. My day is going lovely. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's what I like to hear. So, uh, what you want to do next? Uh, I don't know. The night is young. What do you have in mind? It's whatever you want to do. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Whatever you want. Really? Mm hmm And you look so amazing. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm.
Today is the fifth year of my mom's passing, so I go by to visit my pops because it gets lonely around this time every year. And man, I sure miss my mom's. What's going on, old man? Hey, long time no see, son. How you doing? Oh, I'm good, Pop. How about yourself? I'm all right. Just had me a cold one. Yeah, I see. Where mine's at? I got one in there in the fridge. More than welcome to have one. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you, Pop. I'm good. So I'm going in there and get you one. So I love her. I love this woman. This woman, I loved her with all my heart, all my soul. She meant everything to me. And then, when she get taken away from you, it's been five years. And I still didn't accept the fact that she's gone, that she's gone. And I can't see her anymore. Let me tell you, son, when you love someone, and if you love that girl, you better hold on to her. You better treasure every moment that you have with her, because you ain't gonna have it like this forever. You got to, you got to enjoy life. You got to treasure her. Because we all ain't gonna be here forever. Because if you don't, somebody else gonna do it for you. And we all gotta try to get where your mama is. Up in heaven, son. That's where your mama is, in heaven. I know, Pop, man. Uh, I miss her too, man. I'm sorry, son. I'm just, I'm just having one of my moments. It's, it's, it's hard. I love this woman. It's just not real. Man, you good, Pop, my man. Uh, I miss her too. You know, uh, but uh, you gonna be all right, eh? Yeah, son, I'm a, uh, I'm gonna be all right eventually. It's just one of those, one of those days. I mean, I just miss your mama more than ever. And on a day like this, especially. <laughs> yeah, just don't know. Well, Pop, I got to get out of here, man. Uh, uh, I got a couple of errands I got to run and everything. And uh, shoot, I appreciate the wise words and everything. Uh, you the best dad that a brother could ask for, man. You know? <sighs>
Love you, Pop. Love you too, son. You gonna be straight? Yeah, I'm gonna be all right. I'm just gonna sit out here for a little while longer and kind of reminisce on things. But I'll be all right, though. All right, man. I gotta get out of here, man. All right, son. You take care now. All right, be safe. Man. All right. Love you. Love you too, son. What's up with the home? Man, now she just out here on the block chilling, man. Yeah, I'm gonna be through there in a little minute, man. Drop that package out to you, man. Now, hold up, man. Let me get you right back. What's up with it, bird? Nigga, what's up, nigga? It's my motherfucking paper, nigga. I ain't seen you around lately, nigga. You get it? Man, I've been out here trapping, man, trying to get your money, man. I got you. Nah, fuck that, nigga. You been dodging me, nigga. Man, bird, I ain't been <clears throat> Nigga, think this shit a game for real, nigga? Man, hold up, bird, man. Just give me the night, man. I got you. Nah, nigga, I got you. Hey, mama. Once again, here I am. Can you believe it? It's been five years now. And it's still kind of hard to believe that you're gone. I miss you. I love you. We all do. I just left the house. Dad's taking it pretty hard. But I know he's going to be OK. Celeste's doing good, but she still haven't got married yet, though. <sighs> Michelle and Randall are up the road, staying with Aunt Meg, but they're doing great. <laughs> they're making A's and B's in school now. <laughs> I know. What a surprise, huh? Oh yeah, by the way, Lauren left me, but I'm good. So how is it up there? Is it basketball and football games like it is down here, but a trillion times better? Because if so, I know you're having the ball. I know how much you love sports, but uh, anyway, just been a lot of things on my mind. You know, I know I never asked you these questions before, but I'm really trying to find myself and get the understanding and knowledge and wisdom of God that it takes to make it through life. But uh, anyways, I just wanted to stop by here to let you know how much I miss you. And I love you. Yo, what up, Trey? What's going on, Lance? Right, you got it, brother. You all right? Oh, yeah. Nah. I knew you'd be here when you answer your phone, man. Yeah. I sure do miss him, man. <laughs> hey, remember those Sunday dinners? <laughs> Do I? Yeah. <laughs> All that fried chicken, and collard greens, man. Mm. She sure could cook, man. Yeah, she was the best, man. Yeah. Pecan pies, sweet potato pies. Mm. Hey, that caramel cake, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All type of cakes, man. Yeah. Hey. She's a good woman, man. Godly woman. 
You know, we all miss her, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Love you, mama. Love you too, Miss Ann. Hey, what'd you think about a game of pool, man? Me beating that butt right quick. Man, he got some nerve coming to my crib. After he pulled a gun out on me, man, he got me messed up. What's up, Trey? Y'all? See, I figured you'd still be hot. But check this out, my ninja. Man, my bad about what happened to that old girl crib. Man, we've been partnering way too long to be fighting on some funk ass bitch, man. We need to squash this shit, man. We better than that player. Squash it? Nigga, you got some nerve coming to my crib uninvited. Trying to plead your case after you pulled a damn gun out on me? You got me messed up, partner. And just for the record, she ain't no bitch. Bitch. So you need to get out my yard before I drop you, player. Y'all need to stop this shit, man. For real, both of y'all, y'all need to stop that. Y'all need to squat this. Tough ass Trayon. The man that's supposed to be the peacemaker want to play the tough guy role. You must have forgot what happened last time, boy. Mm. Boy, I'll kill you! Y'all stop that shit, man. Just leave, man. And that's strike two, player. Get out of my yard, player. What the hell going on, cuz? Is he gonna come back shooting or something to shoot the players up? Uh, cuz I just came to get, I get my truck fixed. I ain't with no bullshit like that. You straight, cuz. Pass me that wrench, man. Boom. Good game. Good game, coach. Good game, man. Good run, man. Oh yeah, likewise. You from her? Yeah. I would ask you the same thing, but I never seen you around here before. And around here, everybody know everybody. So where you from? I'm from Michigan, but I go to school at Vanderbilt. Oh yeah? I got a friend girl just got accepted at Vanderbilt, man. You hoop there? Nah, I hoop just to get a little exercise. I'm an engineer. But oh, you yeah? pretty good though, man. Play ball in the school? Uh, well, used to play ball. I'm just a mechanic, man. You need your ride fixed? Holla at me, I can hook you up. <laughs> cool. But anyway, man, I got to get out of here, though, man. Good okay. run, though, bro. Word, word, right. word, word. After I got back from shooting hoops, I decided to give Chrissy a call. Hello, Chrissy speaking. What's up, Chrissy? Um, nothing much. I see you finally decided to use my number. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, what's up with you, Mr. Basketball? <laughs> Look at you. What you doing about that, girl? You make a brother want to go back in time and try for the NBA. <laughs> How you doing? Um, I'm doing fine, just, uh... Reading. What about you? Just got through working out. About to hit the shower. 
But um, what you going on? What you got going on today? Um, I really don't have anything planned for today. Hmm. What about tonight? You free? Um, tonight? Uh, why? What's up? Uh, well, since you're free tonight, I was, uh, wondering, uh, if you wanted to get out and have a little fun. Um, I said I was free today, not tonight. Oh, uh, uh, my bad. Oh my goodness, I'm just messing with you. Um, I'm free tonight. What, you trying to take me out or something? <laughs> yeah, um, uh, something like that. Okay, so, um, where you plan on taking me? It's a surprise. I be like, oh, girl, you drive me crazy. This is an amazing feeling. I be like, oh, is this a coincidence? I feel me and you meant to make it. A coincidence, baby. When love, love, love seems like a coincidence, baby. I fell in I love with your innocence. I should have known that you were heaven sent. Without you, love's irrelevant. My heart is your residence. That means you live it. I hope up in your heart. I got a grip that. Yo, can you picture the moment we first met? Something like a coincidence. At first sight, we can reinvent. We done been cool. You say your heart had been emotionally bruised. Broken is you. That type of love you should be hoping to lose. Romantic novel, perfect poetry was spoken for you. Roses are red, violets are blue. Feel like a coincidence. Destiny that means it's mean. It's some premonition. Yo, I done seen you in my dreams. Some you an angel. <laughs> and you look beautiful. I'm looking at my window a hard playing the part while I'm looking to God and then he brought me like, to oh, love. Girl, you drive me crazy. This is an amazing feeling. I be like, oh, is this a coincidence? While I was trying to get over the situation with me, him, and Lauren, him and Bird that made plans to get rid of me and Coop. Man. It's a cold game. What's up, Ty? What you need to holler at me about? Man, make yourself a drink, playboy. Reason I call you over here today, I need you to take care of a little business for me. What you need for me to handle for you, my nigga? You know Coop? Do I? Yeah, I know him. I need you to make him disappear. Permanent like. What for? What's going on? Long story, playboy. He blazed, we blazed. Can you handle that for me? Yeah, I can handle it. As long as the price is right. What's up with that work? Man, ain't nothing changed. I'm still getting it in. Nigga, I don't fold up in. Word. Yeah, but I can handle that for you, though. I don't really like that nigga anyway. But what's up, though? I thought you were beefing with Trey on. Shit, I am. You want me to get rid of that nigga, too? Nah, playboy. I'm going to get him myself. Mm. This is a point in my life where I'm feeling pretty good. I'm starting to get over Lauren, and I'm starting to feel Chrissy. I'm not involved with anyone, and I don't think she's involved with anyone. So we'll just see how that goes. Morning. How you feeling? Good. 
good. What time you have to be at work? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't think I'm going today, baby. Why not? <laughs> Cause you wore me out. Oh, really? Yes, really. Mm. You know what I think? <laughs> I think it was the other way around. <laughs> you do? Yes, I do. Why is that? <laughs> I mean, because you did all the work. <laughs> but now, <laughs> it's my turn to work you. Hmm. Now I know I'm not gonna make it to work now. Mm-hmm. Forget it. <laughs> the last couple of days I've been doing all the work. And Roger took a lunch break and ain't came back yet. I ain't gave him all the chances I'ma give him. I'm about to fire him. Man, give me 15. Yeah. What's up, man? I've been up here busting my tail, man, doing what you supposed to be doing. Man, how come you ain't been answering your phone? And why you ain't came back to work? Man, I hope you don't think you can come in and leave when you want to. Not here. Not today. Trayon, let me tell you something. Man, fuck you. Ain't a weak-ass job. And as a matter of fact, dog, I quit. No, you ain't quit. You fired. Man, whatever. Man, who play is it? Hmm. What's up, baby? Sound like you just lost your best friend. You okay? Not really. Not really? What's wrong? Trayon. I just left the hospital and I'm pregnant. <laughs> Get out of here, girl. You for real? Yes. I wouldn't be joking about something like this. But you don't need to. So what you saying, I'm about to be a daddy? No, it's not yours. What you mean it's not mine? If it's not mine, who is it then? My ex. Yo ex? Yes. Who was your ex? You never told me nothing about no ex. You told me you ain't had no boyfriend in years. Now you talking about you pregnant and it's not mine? So what you saying? You been sleeping around with him all while you been talking to me? No. Well, that's what it sound like. Anyway, how far along are you? I'm four months. Four months. Four months, huh? Are you sure it's not mine? Yes, I'm positive. Who is he? Look. It doesn't matter, okay? I'm just calling to let you know that I can't talk to you anymore. You can't talk to me anymore? Why is that? Because I'm back with my ex. I'm sorry. Hey, how you doing? All right. After I got off the phone with Chrissy, I decided to go to the store. I think she dumped me, but nevertheless, I happened to run into a childhood friend of mine. Oh, I got it. And guess who it was? Alicia Morgan. Trayon Douglas. Thank you. You're welcome. Girl, if you don't give me a hug, you better. Oh, man. Wow, it's good to see you. It's good to see you too. And you looking good. Uh, I'm just getting off from work, uh, but thanks. Hey, you looking mighty damn fine yourself. Uh, bad hair day today. Oh, girl, if this is your bad hair day, I can just imagine how you look on a good hair day. Baby, you look good. So how long are you down here? Actually, I stay here now. For real? Yeah, I moved back about three weeks ago. Wow, <laughs> I see you still look the same. Beautiful as ever? I guess, Trayon. 
you guess, girl, you know you do. So how long has it been since we last seen each other? I want to say about 13 years. Probably longer than that, but I can't believe you still remember me. Come on now, how could I ever forget you? You were the first girl I ever kissed. Yeah, right. You were. That's crazy. What? You was the first boy I ever kissed. Oh, get out of here. For real. Cool, I never knew that. Yeah, you were. Alicia Morgan. I can't, it's crazy. I can't believe you're right here in front of me. Man, oh. so uh, are you married? No, haven't found the right man yet. Oh, I see. Do you have any kids? No, no kids. What about you? Oh, no, no, no kids. Um, well, at least not right now. I mean, I plan on having kids, just not right now. But hey, don't get me wrong, I do love the kids now. Yeah, me too, but I'm just not ready right now. Oh, I understand that completely. I feel you. Hey, you want to go grab a bite to eat so me you can do some catching up if uh, you're not too busy? I mean, if, if that's okay with you. Uh, I can't right now. I got a lot of work to do. Uh -huh. I got to meet the first lady at the church. And I got to catch up on my painting game. What, you're an artist? Yes. Cool. Uh, that's different. I never thought you would be painting, but hey, that's cool. Different. Yeah. Well, look. I'm not trying to risk you off or anything, but I kind of got to go, you know? I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. Of course, I, I understand. Uh, can, can I get your number if that's okay? Sure. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm ready. 414. 414. 722. 722. 0211. 0211. Alicia Mortgage. All right, then. I got to go. Man, oh, can, can I get another hug before you go? Sure. Oh. Well, call me. Guess I'll talk to you later. Okay, cool. All right. All right. Hey, Trayon. Yeah. Actually, we can use you at the church, if you know what I mean. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Talk to you later. All right, see you later. So how many houses do you own besides this one? About four or five of them? Something like that. Mm. Someone's been doing well with their time. Alicia Morgan. I've been liking her ever since we were kids. You know they say you never get over your childhood love. She just might be the woman for me. This might be something very special. So we went on a series of dates, getting to know one another. And I must admit, I enjoyed every moment of her time. How about that? You know what? Sitting on this swing reminds me of when we were kids, eating push-ups, and your mom would be like, Alicia, girl, you better quit giving out all my ice cream to them kids in the neighborhood. You remember that? <laughs> yes, I remember. Those were some of the best days of my life. Two kids running wild, living free, with no problems in the world. And sitting on this swing is where I first kissed you. That was a very special moment for me. Yeah. It was for me too. I also remember that time when you punched that boy in the face for rubbing my butt. Do you remember that? Me? Yes, you. I don't remember that. Trey Young. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, he should have kept his hands to himself. Then he never would have got hit in the face. Did he ever try it again? Nope. Well, justice was served. I guess so. Yeah. I wonder are your lips softer than they were back in the days? I don't know. There's only one way to find out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, how do I look? You look. Absolutely amazing. Thanks. You don't look too bad yourself. <clears throat> Thank you. You ready, babe? Yes. 
This song is dedicated to anyone who's ever lost a loved one. Raindrops on my window Match the teardrops on my face Guess he's moving on now Looking for a better place Wonder where he's going He didn't even say goodbye Guess he's moving on Baby, you okay? Yeah, the song was touching. Yeah, I love that song. Me too. So you ready to roll? Yeah, it's about that time. Let's get out of here. So find out in life that your so-called friends can be your worst enemy. Trayon! What the fuck? Ty, what the hell are you doing way up here? I'm disappointed in you, boy. You got death staring you in the face, and that's all you can say. What you following me or something? Still follows all of us, boy, and tonight you done found you. Ty ended up shooting Alicia in the shoulder. She's in the hospital, but she'll be getting out soon. What's good, bro? What's up? Man. Yeah. You straight? Yeah. What's up, sis? Mm. What's up? Let me hold some. I got you. Yeah, yeah, you said that last time, but I still ain't got nothing. Look, I promise. Before I leave... Yeah, whatever. Oh. What's wrong with her? She got issues, huh? Yeah, I guess so. But when are you gonna let me drive the car? You already scared playing basketball, you might as well let me drive the whip. <laughs> Randall, I'll tell you what. When y'all get back from out of town, I'm gonna play you one on one. And if you beat me, I will not only let you drive my car, I'll let you keep it for a whole day. How about that? 
Alright. Look here. Rhonda, go in the house and let me speak with your brother. Alright, before I go in the house, you might as well just hand the keys over right now and say them dirty. Go in the house, boy, like I told you. He really think he can beat me. Ain't gonna happen. I don't know. He's pretty good now. Dad, he can't beat me. Not in a million years. Yeah, I hear you. So, uh, I see you cleaning her up. Yeah, doing a little something to her. So, when y'all leaving? About three in the morning. That's smart. Beat all the traffic, huh? I reckon so. How come you ain't going? Nah, I was, but uh, I changed my mind. I got some important business I got to take care of. Like what? Like what? <laughs> Pop, you being nosy now. Look, son, I ain't being nosy. I'm just being concerned. What you call a father's love? Just being concerned. Yeah, I know, but uh, I'm good. I just got some important business I got to handle. That's all. Yeah, well, I hope you know your sister's going to be highly upset because you ain't coming. She'll be all right. I'll give her a call later. Listen to me, son. I don't want you staying around here and do something stupid just because of what happened to your friend, girl. Pop, come on, man. Me staying here ain't got nothing to do with that. Come on, now. All right, I'm just checking. I'm just checking to see where your head is because you don't want to get out here and do something stupid. You got to be thinking. You got to be wise about this. Yeah, I know. I'm all right. So, how is she doing? She's okay. Um, went to the hospital earlier. Uh, she ain't talking, but uh, she is making movements, so that's good news. You still ain't cut the boy who did it yet? Not yet. Son, look, I don't want you going out here taking matters into your own hands. You got to be careful. Leave it in God's hands. He'll get his. You right. Love you. Love you too, son. And uh, put that water hose back where you got it from, okay? <laughs> I'll make sure I cut the water off, Pop. My instincts is telling me I should do something about it. No, I can't let him get away with what he did. Leave you that. Yeah, nigga, I heard what happened to your gal, man. Next day, I hollered at Coop to see if he can handle something for me. So what you want me to do? You want me to kill that nigga for you or something? <laughs> no, nah, man, here you go. That shit crazy, man. Don't fight it up. What? Don't fight it up in here, man. Fuck you mean, man? You act like you got some newborn babies or something running around here, man. What the fuck is you on? Man, you know the rules. No smoking in the crib, cool. Man, anyway, so how you get it doing, man? She doing better. I mean, she's still in a little pain, but she's doing better. Yeah, 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 dig that, dig that. So um, how much longer she got to be in the hospital? Man, I don't even know, but I'm hoping she be getting out in the day now. I bet you is, rookie. You ain't been getting none. For real, want to bring you something through here so you can um, get your rocks off. Man, get out of here with that crazy stuff, man. Shit, I'm just fucking with you anyway, man. Yeah, yeah. But uh, anyway, you was right about that nigga Ty. That nigga ain't cool after all. But, you know, guess a brother had to find out the hard way. Feel me? I told you about them fuck niggas from the jump, man. So, you know, it's whatever with me. Yeah, 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 I know. But it's all good now. I ain't got to worry about that no more. Yeah, yeah. So, um, if that's took care of, then what, what, what you need me to do? Look here. What I need for you to do is... Fuck is this, nigga? You know what the fuck this is. Fuck you, nigga. Nah, fuck you, nigga. Alicia is pissed off at me. Who could blame her? Caught up in a situation she ain't had nothing to do with. I hope we can make it through this.
favor, I'm sure glad you out. I'll be right back. After I picked Alicia up from the hospital, I met up with Loco. He had a plan. What you need me to meet you here for? Cuz, I'm glad you came. Man, I'm beefing out here in these streets, Kim. For so what? Man, I'm at the club last night getting my swerve on. You know, drinking, pimping, and pandering. And you know the little Rico boy. Rico? Yeah, Rico. He done ran down on me talking about some broad. Man, I got so many broads, I don't even know which one he talking about. Okay. So I just left the club. So man, I'm outside. He done ran down on me with the crew and everything. to caught me out of bounds. I ain't got a strap or nothing, cuz. What? Gentlemen, may I take your order? Uh, yeah, uh, let me get two cabinets. Sounds good. Thank you. Look, cuz, hold on, hold on. I need some bathroom. Hold on, hold on. I was hold in the thought, middle of the store. Hold on, hold on. Mr. Officer, you might want to come on down to Marlowe's right about now. I got them, if you're going to get them. And we square after this, right? All right. Okay, look, huh? Yeah. So what's up with that bread you owe me, man? Because I just told you this cat trying to kill me, and you still on me about this money, cuz. Man, what that got to do with my paper, though, homie? I got a lot going on, cuz. Look, I'm going to get you your money, all right? I just need a little time. That's all right, all. whatever, 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 time. whatever. I'm going to get you your money. Get down. Who want to know? CPD. CPD. Oh, don't you make this thing hard for me. Step away from that table. Man, what is this about, man? Step away from that table. There's a warrant for your arrest. Hands up against the wall. Officer, arrest that man. Put your hands up on the wall. Come on, man, what the you doing, man? man? Yeah, nigga, I did 10 years behind that shit. Nigga thought he did something slick. Mm, that's pretty damn messed up. So tell me how we gonna get to him. What's the plan? Yeah, so I got these two hitters, right? These two brawls, dirty and red. So I send the brawl red at him. Since player thought he was such a big pimp, we gonna clean his motherfucking clock. So when you talking about doing that? Oh, we gonna do this tomorrow. We gonna rock that nigga socks. Thanks, baby. Oh, he good. Hey, baby, pull him a drink. So I see you doing it big, huh, player? What the fuck is my money you owe me, nigga? Come on, cuz, we back on it again. Man, I'm hot as a firecracker right now. I can't even walk in the bank. Why you think my brother had to call you? I need cash and a passport so I can catch the first thing smoking in Amsterdam. And when I get there, I got you, man. Man, I don't wanna hear that shit, nigga. You out here playing games with my money? My life? Nigga, I've been locked up 10 years, nigga. 
You out here turned the fuck up with my cash, nigga. But I promise you, if it weren't for your brother, you would be a dead ass nigga by now. But if it wasn't for the homie, I wouldn't have got you this cash and this passport. You owe me, nigga. That's what I'm talking about. Amsterdam, here I come. So what's the plan? Shit. Smoke like Cheech and Chong. Hit that white like Scarface. But I can't stay around here. Every time I hear a police siren, I get weird the fuck out, man. Yeah. Should that dumbass shit you did, nigga. Man, I ain't trying to shoot that broad, man. I was trying to blast that weak ass Trayon boy. But you know how it is. Innocent bystanders, bad things happen. You feel me? Yeah, I feel you, nigga. But I'ma tell you this, though. You ain't got my motherfucking cash first time you touch down, nigga. You a dead man walking. Uh-huh. Niggas. Oh, well. Okay. Enjoy the ride, player. You back already, baby? Trayon! Bitch, you shot me! Y'all get the fuck out of here. Fuck I ain't that a bitch. Look, I'm sorry about your girl, player. I ain't mean to shoot that bitch, and how in the fuck you know why I stay anyway? Man, my cousin gon' fuck you up! LOCO! LOCO? Do you actually think LOCO gon' help you? You snitch? Huh? He set me up, didn't he? Nah. You set yourself up ten years ago. Remember? And when you shot my girl. Look at me! I told you it was an accident! Come on, man. I need to get to the hospital. I'm dying, player! Good. Because that's what I want you to do. Die slow. Come on, Treyon. We boys, man. We boys? Ty Kimber, you one less problem I got to worry about. And I hope you're ready to meet your maker. Come on, man. I need to get to the hospital. You don't get away with this shit! I run with some real niggas. They gonna hunt you down. They gonna kill you. Now get me to the hospital, player. Nah. No hospital for you. Not today. And a matter of fact, your time is up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Man, I got some money and a one-way ticket to Amsterdam. And I know you like to get high. It's all yours. Just get me to the hospital. I'm begging you, man. Nah. What well, kill me then, nigga? I knew killing Ty wasn't the right thing to do. But he did shoot Alicia. And if I would've lost her, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. So I couldn't take a chance on him doing it again. Pretty sure. Here we go. Yeah. Keep being there. Easy in there. Detective Willard, homicide. This is my partner, Detective Burns. I know who you are. What's up? I'm sorry to hear about the shooting that your friend was involved in. Is she okay? Yeah, she's doing fine. Good. I'm sorry to barge in on you at this hour, 
but we have some questions concerning this matter. Is it all right if we come in? No, sir. No? Right now isn't a good time, Detective. I've already been questioned by the police. I also wrote a statement out about what happened on that night. So whatever y'all need to know about that night, I advise y'all go down to the police station. They should be able to help you. Comprende? Comprende, sir? Comprende? Are you even concerned about us capturing this person for doing this shooting? Am I concerned? Yes, are you concerned? What kind of question is that? What do you think? I mean, that's what we're here for. That's why you're here. Well, if that's the case, why don't y'all just do your job and find the person that's responsible for the shooting? And if you find them before I do, would you please let me know so that justice can and will be served, detectives? Now have a nice day. But Mr. Douglas, this is the beginning of our investigation. Pretty cocky guy, isn't he? Yes, he is, man, very cocky. But it is his home. Detective Willard and Detective Burns paid me a visit. And man, wasn't I scared. I thought they was gonna question me about Ty's death, but they knew nothing about that. So, you think you know anything? Well, Detective Burns, one thing I learned in my 20 years of experience is that every man has his breaking point. Somehow we'll make it, somehow we'll make it, even though it's raining, I'm no longer complaining. There's nothing like the smell of fresh air. Good morning, baby. Morning. I see someone's up mighty early. Yeah, I gotta finish up on this painting by tomorrow, so. All right, Mrs. Douglas. Handle that. So where them babies at of mine? They're in their sleep. You need to go wake them up. They ought to be asleep as long as they kept me up last night. No, they ain't go to bed to about five this morning. You'll be all right. Yeah, I guess so. So what time you got to get your hair done? About one o'clock. One o'clock. Well, I'm about to go take a morning dive. Mm-hmm. Nah, not today. What happened to that morning dive? I changed my mind. So who was this painting for? Mr. Adam Belusky. <laughs> Mr. Adam Belusky. My man. He's weird. But it's cool. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Looks like you're almost finished. I am. Good. Because I am ready to make love to my baby. Okay. <laughs> well, look. We got about 15 minutes. And I'm going to be inside waiting on you with nothing on but these house shoes. So hurry up. Boy, go get your crazy stuff in there and get them keys up. <laughs> Babe. I love you. I love you too, Treyon. Yep. Me and Alicia ended up getting married. We had a couple of kids. Hey, in life, you sometimes have to go through turbulence and love in order to find yourself in that one and only true love.
Hello world. <laughs> this song is dedicated to my wife. Kanita Kate Dai. I love you baby. You know, I just want to take the time to let you know how much I love you and how much I adore you. You are an angel baby. You are an angel from Your high school 